Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have come up with a new use case. So as you can see on my screen, I have two fact tables, fact sales and fact inventory in my Power BI data model. And the use case is I want to use this category filter in our report as a slicer. This category column exists in this fact table and uh, in fact inventory as well, we have a category column. So we are thinking of a way how to use this category column as a slicer in our report. So normally what people do is they create relationship between these two tables with the help of this category column and, and use any of the category column as a slicer and they use uh, like category column from any of the table and uh, this works like this. This will work but this is going to drastically degrade the Power BI performance. Let me tell you why. So if you go to model view and if you see here, these are two fact tables and we are creating many to many relationships between these two tables and with the help of bi-directional filters. So what does this mean is, suppose these two fact tables are having millions of rows. So whenever we filter this category, so it will filter all the rows present in these two fact tables, which can drastically degrade the performance. So this is not the correct way to do so. Now I'm going to show you what should be the ideal and effective way to use this category filter as a slicer. So let's delete this first of all. So what I will do is I will create a new table and call it as category. So here I will use distinct and category from fact inventory. So now I'm, I will do union because I want to combine the categories from these two tables. So let's use distinct again and category. So this time I will take category from fact sales and close the bracket. If I click on enter, it will give me a list of categories but it will be it will be having some duplicates because we are doing union of the two tables so what can we do is we can again do distinct to remove the duplicates and now you will see we have these three unique rows and we can use this table to filter the two fact tables so let's create a relationship so this category will filter the fact sales and also this category will filter the fact inventory. So if you see now we are having one to many relationships and this is the ideal way to use a bridge table to solve the many to many relationships. And now we are going to use this category from the category table. So now if I click on books, it will be giving the same result. So this will improve your performance and this is the correct way to use the category slicers in your report. So that was it. I hope you have learned something new in this video. Till then, goodbye. Thanks for watching the video.